Now I'd like to introduce to you uh, a resident of Caledonia, a brave young resident who's endured uh, uh, a lawless uh, sixth uh, line uh, home. Uh, I introduce to you our own dancer. My name is Pam, and for 15 years I've been living on the sixth line, and that's how long I've been alive. But only 13 years have been happy years. Ever since February 28, 2006, my whole life changed. Having to be almost literally locked inside my own home, I was terrified to even look out my own window. Close your eyes and imagine, you're looking out your laundry room window, and you see the tall, beautiful oak trees on your neighbor's property. But when you look higher up, you can see the darkest, biggest bloom of smoke you can ever see. You run into the living room to look out that window and find almost 50 cars lining up and down your street and natives walking everywhere. They're pulling in your driveway, not even on the right side of the road. You even see a 12 year old driving a car path, but you can't do anything. You can't call the police because they can't help you. You're locked in your own home. A few days later, when things calm down, you're allowed to go to school, but you couldn't get to school anymore by bus. So you have to drive a 30 minute drive to school when it only took two minutes. You could go through the blockade, but you could only do this if you had a pass. But even when we got one, it was whether they felt like letting you through or not. If they did let you go through, it was like you're in prison. Gates were everywhere. Men with masks over their faces, only to see their eyes. Med hol men holding bats, some even with guns. It was a living hell, and I had to live through that. You don't have any clue what life is like until you had to live through it. I used to be a competitive dancer last year. I had loved to dance on the side lawn to practice, but I wasn't able to unless I could take the pressure of getting stairs or firecrackers thrown at me. Now I take medication and going to counseling because of all of this. A 14 year old girl should not be doing that and it's still all the same now that I'm 15, except that I'm in high school and don't have to worry about getting a bus to go to Notre Dame. It's these things that hurt because it's not just my family in pain, it's all of ours on the sixth line. There are seven children on the road, ranging from two years old to 16 years old. It's very sad when the 15 and 16 year olds are told that if a native ever came into our home and tried hurting us, or, and we fought back and either hurt or killed the native, we would be arrested, not the native. So are we to just sit there and let them beat on us or kill us when we're home alone? People in Caledonia think it's quiet on the six line, but they have it all wrong. It's nothing like that. From natives looking in windows to quads with no exhaust speeding by at night and cars care not caring about the speed limit and almost hit people or cars, it's very scary at night especially, not knowing if your house is still going to be standing the next morning. People on the sixth line have not had a good night's sleep for over a year and a half now. That's sad. This is why we need your help. I'm 15 years old and I will fight as much power as I have to get police and justice back on my road. I know Mr. Peterson made the mistake of taking the police away from us, and it's sad when he can't fix his own mistakes, and I, a 15-year-old girl, am trying. To say I'm not emotional is it's beyond me, believe me. A child of that age left on her own with no law enforcement. Is this Canada or what country is this? Like what is going on in this great country? A country that I put the uniform of the Canadian Navy on for to defend the rights of people in foreign countries. I did that for their freedom, their democracy. And it's lacking in, in our own country. So please, you people, don't let this child endure this any longer. Get your MPs, your MPPs. Get the word out that we're suffering here. That everybody's. Uh, that doesn't belong around here uh, or, or come around here, uh, they, they think everything is fine. Well, you've heard it firsthand 
from a resident at the sixth line. So please help.